Uh, it's gonna be a quick video on how to uh, load in an HDR light uh, or render into the background here so we can illuminate um, a, a product. So I just want to do two things. Um, one is I want to go to my render setup and by default this one is set to mental ray. Uh, I'm just going to leave it on all the default settings here. I won't get too much into it today, but if you do want to um, make adjustments, I can uh, I can show you how to do that a bit later. I will um, just keep it on the size that's there now. Um, what I've got is um, here in my material editor. Just bring that up. I'm using the uh, compact material editor. If you want to know how to bring that up there's the slate material editor which is this one which can look a bit overwhelming or there is the compact material editor I have uh, this um, probe droid here which is uh, inside of my HDR environment that I rendered it out um, from another scene um, so what I want to do is just, just render this just with the default settings to show you what you can get uh, straight out of the box here let's bring that up full screen so this is my probe droid and it's rendered with that HDR lighting and in the background it's got some skylights and this is actually illuminating that, that probe droid to actually look a little bit more uh, real within the scene. Uh, so the steps that I've done to, to do this is I rendered out an HDRI image um, and the simplest way to get this into, into Max is just go to that file um, and just drag and drop that image into one of the material editors here. And this comes in as an actual material, so it's just uh, texture mapped. I'm just going to drag that out of that diffuse slot and just put it in one of the other slots. And uh, here's how it comes into 3ds Max. So it actually comes in as the spherical um, unwrapped image. I want to do two things here. One, I want to go from texture and make an environment because I want it to illuminate my space. And I want it to map on the screen with spherical environment not screen environment and this will now start to look more like an actual um, scene here and then to uh, get this in as, as my background so um, we have our uh, lighting environment I'm not going to touch the render engine today we have in rendering we have a lighting environment you can just hit 8 on your keyboard and I can just drag and drop that into the environment map and instance it and that now provides the background um, the default ones that come with um, 3ds Max are the physical sky, so I'll just show you what that does. So I'll do that. Background's changed, and I'll hit uh, render. And you can see that's how it's uh, illuminating, illuminating the space. Um, and if I go and uh, drag and drop. Uh, this one that I've just brought in and hit uh, render it will now render with that that background uh, image there so that's uh, the simple process of bringing it in and um, what I've also done is if I just hit alt B um, I've got that um, should be showing in the background there. It's not showing for me at the moment. Let me just try the one that I made previously. Okay. Um, so as I sort of spin around that space and hit uh, render, you can see that that background is adjusting, and then the lighting on the probe joy that's actually been lit by the HDR lighting is is changing as well. So it used to have a bit of a blue tinge. But uh, because of the scene, it's uh, lit in certain ways. As you see, I'm going around the model. This is getting the reflections from the blue lighting outside and on, on one side, and then it's getting different types of reflections on, on this side here. So again, render it out. And you can see that there's the skylights so or the background windows that are giving it the blue tinge, and then uh, it's getting different lighting here. If you want to see that slightly better, um, if I go and drop in this material here, just like a black material with a lot of reflections, we can render that and you should be able to see those uh, reflections on the droid uh, a little more clearly. Again, these are just the low settings, so there's a little bit of uh, pixelation there, but you get the idea of how that HDR lighting uh, works. 
So that is the uh, the quick uh, quick demo on how to uh, use HDR lighting.